Let's take a second and talk about Windows Automatic Update and whether or not you should or should not use them on your computer. Okay, so Windows Automatic Update has a few different cons and a few different pros. Something that I've actually abandoned a long time ago just because the cons definitely for me outweigh the pros. Situation number one, you set up a computer for a relative, let's say a grandmother. You're setting this computer up, you're the go-to IT person for your family, and if anything goes wrong, it's up to you to fix that computer. So if you wanna set this computer up and just leave it be, you might wanna turn on Automatic Update. It's something that when your grandmother is going to turn on and off her computer every night, then it's going to automatically put those security updates to that computer, keeping her computer hopefully as secure as possible and as up to date as possible without you having to intervene. Now this type of scenario is definitely beneficial to you because it's a hands-off situation where you can just set it and hopefully forget it. This of course assuming everything else and that computer is gonna automatic update like, you know, virus or malware definitions. But let's think about the cons to this same exact situation that you might run into. Let's say that your grandmother gets an update on her computer that sends her computer into a reboot loop. This is because a bad update push from Microsoft came in that was not fully tested and or not ready to release to the public. They'd done this before and it was all an accident. Either way they pushed it out, it was labeled as a critical update and it was automatically installed on people's computers. Now, all of a sudden, you'd be in the IT person of the family gets that call from your grandmother saying, my computer's broke, and you then have to go out, figure out what's wrong, boot it into safe mode, restore it back to an image, or whatever you have to do to fix the situation. This is definitely not something you wanna do, especially if your grandmother lives far away. So automatic update definitely has its pros in keeping everything up to date, secure, and you know hassle-free, but it can and probably will create a hassle for you in the future if an update gets pushed out that the public was ready for. Now, let's take about the latest example that Microsoft push out, the automatic update to Windows 10. I don't know why I quoted that, but the automatic update to Windows 10, that was an accident. That was, that was what I wanted to quote. And I say that in quotes because, well, I really don't think that this was an accident. And I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on here for a second, but I think some higher up exec was just probably like, hey, we want to you know, infiltrate the market more with Windows 10. We want to expand our data collection on uh, customers all over the world. So let's just say for a brief moment of a few days, let's make the Windows 10 update a critical or important update that everybody automatically installs accidentally. And then when we get caught red-handed, we'll just say, oh, we're sorry, we clicked the wrong button, we'll undo that, blah, blah, blah. However, the damage is already done. A lot of people that had the automatic updates already had to restart and they booted up with a brand new, fresh Windows 10 upgrade that they did not opt in for. And as far as I know, unless you created a system restore point beforehand, which some people turn those off because they may not work as well as they want them to, then you can't revert back to Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. So now they're stuck. They're stuck with a new operating system that might not work on their computer uh, correctly via drivers or something like that. Perfect example, a laptop. There's been a lot of laptops where trackpads, the drivers for the trackpads were not compatible with Windows 10 as of yet. I know this because this happened to my laptop. This way it is. So you also have other things like, you know, maybe audio drivers, video drivers for older hardware. I mean, there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of reasons as to why you might not want to upgrade. And some of the primary reasons are going to be like corporate computers where they basically have software software designed for a specific platform running off specific drivers, set up a very specific way and upgrading those to Windows 10 basically breaks everything for them. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of IT departments out there that have that on lock, so it's not something that's gonna accidentally happen to any of the major corporations, but there are some small businesses out there that have everything set up the way they want, and waking up one day and finding out that all of their computers change can be detrimental. So. With this latest event from Microsoft, you really have to start to weigh the pros and cons to automatic update and figure out if it's something that you want to take part of. On one side, everything should stay relatively up to date. I think they have the patch Tuesdays, all the new security updates, definitions for Windows Defender if you use that. I mean, everything will just stay up to date. Huge benefit. On the downside, 
is if you don't control that, then you lose the ability to avoid those updates that might harm your computer, send you into reboot loops, break drivers, or just overall just wreak havoc on your system. Or for that matter, upgrade you to Windows 10, which is basically less of an operating system and more of an, a huge spyware program with an operating system GUI built on top of it. So take this into consideration when you want to turn on or off your Windows update. Consider your, your usage in the real world and see if it's something you want to do. For me, I actually turn Windows update off. I don't like it. What I do is after about, I want to say two, maybe three weeks, I'll go into the Windows update screen. I'll see what kind of updates are available. And then I'll get online. I'll go onto Google and I'll search for Windows update error within a certain time frame, however long it's been since my last upgrade. And then I'll see if any KBs pop up and say, hey, this caused this error, this caused that error or people are having issues with this. That way I can uncheck those and hide them and avoid those updates altogether and only update to the ones that I know are safe and secure for my computer. Now this does run the pro or this does run a con for my system because usually that means I'm two to three weeks behind on updates, but if you're not as lazy as I am or if you just don't forget it as much as I am, it could work out in your benefit. So what do you do? Do you turn everything on automatic or do you leave it in the hands of yourself to do all the research before you upgrade your computer? Personally, like I said, I keep mine off, but I'm looking forward to hearing what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.